so on this RV, even though I have two vacuum pumps on it, it is so water saturated and contaminated that I could smell it because it smelled like swamp water with the refrigerant when I leaked some out and I was taking it out and opening it, it just smelled really bad. And that's usually the guys who don't use vacuum pumps or the guys who use shop air and they pump shop air into the system to look for leaks and then they bleed it out and then they charge it up and no when you pump shop air into the system and it soaks into the ester oil or the peg oil there's so much moisture in the system you're not going to remove it using a vacuum pump and uh, this is just one of those systems so yeah highly contaminated i am not going to be able to remove out even a sizable amount of moisture in a short period of time this would be a mandatory if he wasn't leaving so soon this would be a mandatory um, change the receiver dryer do a triple vac and a purge with nitrogen and leave it on the vacuum pumps overnight that is what is needed on this system to properly do it 100 percent of the way but i will be doing the r410 two uh, air conditioning units up on the roof up there and uh, maybe i can make some videos on that while i'm out here in the 90 degree sun you can see the white sunblock on me and my face looks like a geisha all right so we're down to 1800 microns and we're not going to go any farther i think when i turn off the vacuum source it goes down a little bit it'll go down to i think 13. will it hit 12. Yeah, it's slowing down so it might get into 12 rains but this is moisture saturated 